Hey, good morning everybody. Today is Wednesday, July, or July, I wish it was July, January 16th, and uh, I'm just headed up to the mailbox here quick. Um, we're just starting to get going with things, but before we get uh, going here with things, I needed to get this oil sample thing up to the mailbox, get that in the mail, get that off. So, uh, so we get that done, and uh, kind of a kind of a little, little bit chilly out this morning. It's uh, I don't know, below uh, might be like one below zero, but you can see over there. You can see that's the power plant. Uh, they call that the Big Stone Power Plant. And then there's an ethanol plant. They got an ethanol plant. And, uh, sorry there. Oh, yeah, so that's kind of what, that's what it looks like here today. I know they're talking that we're supposed to get, uh, some snow this weekend, so, uh, yeah. So, get this in the mailbox here. Close the door, put the little flag up, and then we're, we're good to go. Yeah. That's what it looks like to the west. <laughs> and that's what it looks like to the east. And there's a car coming here, so I gotta get going. Let's get run over. So, uh, it's my neighbor coming down the road. My neighbor heading into work. Yep, so anyways. Um, yep. And that's what it looks like here today. Cold and cold and sunny. So uh Yep, so we're gonna see what happens here today. Really not too much to do extra to do today here, but then there's always something unplanned that comes up during the day, so we'll see what happens and I'll get back with you later. Hey everybody, um, I just got down to load the feed wagon for the cows here, but I kind of wanted, kind of wanted to show you um, what happened on Saturday. I didn't get it on camera. I got one picture of it, it was a little fuzzy, but maybe I'll put it on in the video here. But anyways, my brother got stuck over here. Um, I don't know how well you can see that yet, but um, let me put the bucket down. I just wanted to show you. <laughs> we had to dig him out. He was trying to drive through this drift here at the um, the New Holland 8670 in the Minerva Spider, and he just got stuck. He drove, I don't know, maybe 50 feet into the drift, and it just got hung up. He couldn't get any traction or anything, and um, yeah, just kind of wanted to show you a little comparison here, so you guys can kind of see. Let me just get out here for a second. I'll just show you guys. Yeah. yeah. He got stuck and we had to dig out all the snow here and uh, yeah so you could kind of see the the tractor in comparison to the snow pile there that kind of gives you a good idea about how much snow there is <laughs> and um, Yeah, so we, we got them dug out and the snow is just so hard and crusty. It's just like, you, can, you could, it's just really hard because it got warm out and kind of melted. So, um, but it just kind of drifted in pretty good right over here. And um, yeah, this is the other side over here, so. 
it took about I don't know almost an hour boy that's really hard stuff really hard it took about an hour to get them dug out of here but you could kind of see how long it was and then we drove out to the other side and dug this out so he wouldn't have trouble again just he was just taking manure over to that one field the corn stubble over there and uh yep that's pretty much what it looked like or looks like here so yeah i thought i'd kind of show you guys that so you could see what happens when you got to deal with a lot of snow and if we get more snow i know they're talking more snow on friday so this could all this could all blow back in again so we'll see we'll see what happens all right, everyone, um, we're basically done for the day here. Um, well, we still got milk the cows yet. And um, yeah, we just bedded the pole barn um, a little bit ago. And so, yeah, I know there wasn't much in today's video, but um, I'm trying to keep things a little short here so the video don't get too long and I have, don't have a whole bunch of stuff to edit here. But yeah, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. And I guess I don't know what's going to all take place in the morning here, but yeah, I don't know, chores this time of year, they get kind of monotonous. It's just, uh, I don't really like winter time because it just seems like, like I say, it's just monotonous and chores, 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 and chores, but I guess that's the way it is. But anyway, so like I say, I'm going to carry this video over in tomorrow again, and uh, I guess, oh boy, I'm going to stretch. Oh. So, see you in the morning, or sometime tomorrow anyway, so. Hey, good morning everybody. Um, today is whew, January 17th, or Thursday, January 17th to be precise. And I just thought I'd show you guys kind of one of my less glamorous jobs on the farm. Um, loading, um, filling up the soybean pails. Um, we just you know this is how we weigh out weigh out our soybean meal um you know always keep it in a tote bag like this and well that's what we get it in is we get this is obviously organic soybean meal and um yes we, we store it in tote bags because we don't have a bin to store it in and um yeah so this is one of my less glamorous jobs digging in this bag um, it's almost empty. We're, we're supposed to be getting another bag today. Possibly tomorrow we ordered some more. Um, so that's kind of one of my less glamorous jobs. Um, yeah, I know some people wonder why. Why don't we use your own soybeans and stuff like that? Well, it's kind of a logistic thing. Um, we need the money for our soybeans that, we, that we're going to sell. So that's why we don't use our own soybeans. Um, that's just how it works. Yes, if we if we didn't have to use the money, I mean we could get our, use our own beans. We these these beans are actually soybean meal is actually um pressed, so all the oil is pressed out of it. So um yeah, so we'd have to get our beans pressed and everything. But yes, that's why we don't. But anyways, yeah. Uh, what are we up to here today? Um, well, um, the milk tester guy. The DIHA milk tester rep is here and they're finishing up testing right now in the barn. And um, I was doing some of my less glamorous chores here. So, yep, I just got to weigh out three pails. That's all the cows need. We're giving them right now like um, <clears throat> a pound and three quarters of soybean meal. So, that's, that's what they need in their ration right now. So, Yep, so that's one of my less, one of the less glamorous jobs around here. It's a job, it's got to be done. Hey everybody, we're um, finishing up testing milk here and we got our, our milk, DHA milk rep over there and he's taking care of everything here, writing down all the milk samples and um, we're just, um, we're just checking see how much milk they get here so um, 
that's what we do every month. We do this once a month, so. Um, And there's Sylvester, he's helping out too. I just thought I'd show you guys that real quick, um, what we do here in testing. And, uh, so, that's what we do every month. Well, the dry cows are happy. <laughs> just gave them, uh, gave them the bail of death. Okay, everybody, um, we kind of made a last minute decision here. It's not like super cold right now. And uh, so I'm gonna change the engine oil on the new Holland 8670 here because it's got like 466 hours on it. So um, I'm gonna take it out to the shed. And um, get the oil changed on here. And uh, yeah, I just gotta get changed here. It's uh, it's time for it to be changed. Now I'm just gonna leave the spreader hooked up. We're just gonna drive it in the shed. And uh, but anyways, um, yeah, I was gonna tell you too about this track. We figured out. Pretty sure we figured out what was wrong with the uh, ether thing here. So, um, yeah. So, um, yeah. There goes my brother. He's alive. <laughs> Anyways, about this ether button here, um, we found out that, yeah, it's the ether button that's bad. Um, we actually figured out the solenoid on here is, um, working, the ether solenoid. And,. I checked over here is where there's a bank of fuses and relay switches behind this panel here and um, I checked the fuse the fuse is good the relay switch is good so the only thing that we could think of is that it's this button down here so I'm gonna have to take this thing off I'm gonna have to take all this off sometime and go through it and uh, see what's wrong with this button here it's not it's not getting juice to the button so um, I get, I get I get used to this other that the loader tractor and that shuttle lever on here. You go this thing when you go back and forth in different tractors you get used to how one goes one way. Oop, better take it out of front wheel assist or front wheel drive. Yikes. Come on. I get this thing if I get it uh, thrown in here. I hope I'm going to fit it. I might have to drive the loader out. Oy, 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 oy. I think I'm going to have to. Oy, 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 oy. This is going to be tight. Going to be tight, boys and girls. It's going to be tight. Yep, she's going to go. Is that going to work? Some lights on in here. Okay. Okay, guys, I am gonna get this oil, start draining it, and um, so this video doesn't get too long, I am going to just drain it and change it. And um, well, I might feel a little bit of it, but. We'll see what happens here, but I'm gonna get it drained in here and uh, get back to you later. Okay, um, I guess I'm gonna film part of our changing oil here, guys. Um, pretty much the same procedure as the other day. Um, the plug is hiding back right there. I can't get the light in here. Do -do -do -do. There, you can see it. Can you? It's there. There. Now you see it. Loose. 
start draining away this oil. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna get oil all over me, ain't I? I gotta get these hoses out of the way. Why is that thing? Oh, this thing gotta tighten up on me. Okay, I don't wanna drop the oil plug in the bottom of the pail. Oh, here it comes. Ready? To, there, almost. There we go. Got her. Gotta get a sample here. I'm gonna grab one. Here we go. We got her sample. Oh, that doesn't go there. There we are. Hey. Okay, guys. That is, um, that's draining there, as you can see. And yeah, maybe took the sample a little too soon, but. <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh, man. So, that's draining. And I gotta pull the filter off yet, but I'll get back with you guys here when I get all done because otherwise this video is gonna get really, really long. Okay, I just got uh, done adding oil and got it started up. And I was looking to make sure, double checking, make sure there's no leaks, and there is no leaks, so. So it's as good as new. <laughs> well, almost so long. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna take this back up, put up, up, put it back up by the barn, and I'll get back with you. All right, everybody. Um, yep, the tractor is good to go. Then that's tractor number two. We got oil change on. It still got. Uh, I think I gotta do it on the 420 yet. And um, I don't know, I gotta check the hours on some of the other tractors here. Let's see what they need for oil change. But, excuse me. But other than that, everything is um, yeah, done for the day. Um, yeah, so I just gotta eat something and come back up and milk cows. And yep, so it was another busy day. Um, yep, we got the milk testing done, and uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but I'm going to keep this ending short, so, um, we'll see what happens here tomorrow, tomorrow will be Friday, and, uh, yeah, maybe the government, the government will open back up tomorrow, we'll see. <laughs> hey, good morning, everybody, today is January 18th. Friday, January 18th, and uh, yeah, I hope everybody's day is off to a good start. Um, I'm just getting ready here. Um, we ordered some soybean meal earlier this week, and I'm just headed up to um, the yard up there because the guy, that, the speedy delivery man that brings the soybean meal is here, so um, yeah, and yeah, if you see that steam looking that's just the exhaust it's not smoke it's just steam because there's just water vapor coming out of the warm water vapor coming out of the exhaust i thought i had this the engine plugged in i had the transmission plugged in in here but i did not have the engine plugged in and so uh so the glow plugs had to turn on on here because of that but this thing started pretty good i don't even know what the temperature is it's I don't know, it's probably like 15 degrees out right now. Maybe 10, I don't know. 10 or 15 degrees above zero. So, yeah, the speedy guy is waiting up here for me. And, yep, yeah, it's snowing. So, yeah, I gotta get the pallet fork on here and then, uh, 
get the uh, speedy guy. <laughs> He's up here. Yep, speedy delivery is here. Yep, we gotta get there's our pallet sitting in there. Oh yes. More snow. Well, I'm gonna get this pallet hooked on and I'll get to get back to you guys later. Speedy guy, I gotta keep him keep him happy, he's gotta keep moving, he's got other stops to make, so. Again, um, I just well, I'm still working at the feeding here. Um, that's what I'm up to. I just brought the loader up to the yard so we could throw the manger scraps into the into the uh, bucket. We clean those out. Um, I'm just walking back out up to the feeder wagon, but first I got to swing by the shed and start up the tractor on the feed grinder and it kind of had a little bit of a, a minor delay the tractor on the feed wagon ran out of fuel it ran out of fuel because I didn't know it was out of fuel because the fuel gauge don't work yes oh, we need to get that fixed someday but uh, I gotta get the, this tractor going and for all those who are wondering I don't know what you can see back there. Yep, the tire, the feeder, or the feed grinder tire is still up. Yep, that tire jack worked. It's holding air. So, uh, that's a good thing. So, at least that's fixed. So, I gotta get this plugged, or get this going, and then later here, too, I got the skid loader plugged in. We got to push a pallet of soybean meal in the shed up there. And uh, we still don't actually have this thing done yet either. Um, my brother went down to the New Holland dealership to get the shaft. Um, they got it all made up. So all we got to do is just, I got to clean that up yet. And then we got to put it on. And then I think one thing we're going to do too is put the chains on here. Because I think why we broke that yoke last time was because we've been ramming it because the tires are slipping. So if we put the chains on, we won't be ramming the snow blower into the snow. It creates undue stress for the uh, the um, the u universal joints, so the cross bearings in there, and it takes them out. So I think we'd just be better off just to get the chains on here before we blow any more snow. I don't know. They said we're supposed to get two to four inches, but Tomorrow the wind's gonna pick up and really make things nasty. Again. <sighs> we get so tired of stupid snow. When is winter gonna be over? That's all I can say. But anyways, I better bit uh, 
get the two banger going here and uh, get going with my the rest of my chores so I get done. I just want to get done today because I need I should run into town and get a new fuel filter for the fuel tank because the fuel is just kind of pissing out of there right now and it just needs to be uh, changed. So that's what's going on. that puts in here at least the bag didn't tip over it's I don't know there's some snow underneath of it it's kind of acting like a teeter-totter <laughs> well not only that but that's a pretty crappy pallet they put under there too but oh well at least it's in there for a fuel filter housing thingy uh, the file set down again it's believe, right here I'm gonna change it out I believe I'm gonna change it out with this. This is a big fuel, fuel filter. Oh, it should be in the box. Fuel filter removes dirt and run. Hmm. Otherwise, the guy can buy one of the, these. 30 bucks. This is what we have, but it always leaks. This one is made more like for pressure. So, um, I'll figure it out here and uh, get back to you guys later. It's either this one or that one. So we'll see what see what we get here. We're grocery shopping. So grab some groceries. Oh, come on, work. Everything gets sticky when it gets cold out. Yep, some gas. Okay, everybody. Um, we're all done with every, everything for the day, the milking included. And, uh, yeah, I just want to show you what I got for that fuel tank at the farm store. Yep, this is what I ended up getting. So it absorbs hydro, hydrozorb. Yep, so I got that. And I uh, got a can, another can of ether because it's been cold out. So might need that. And yeah, 
Then I got the thing to screw and that the filter screws on that I need to screw on the tank. It's an inch, inch diameter, so. So yeah, so I'll probably uh, do that in the morning or tomorrow I'll put that on so hopefully get the fuel out of the fuel tank better and um, yeah so that's pretty much what all happened today so um, yeah so anyway I'm gonna head to bed and call it a day and it is getting really cold out I don't even know what the uh, my phone says hey, over here the temperature. I know it's cold supposed to get down to like 17 below it's five six below six below zero so we'll see what it is in the morning and by 7 a.m i think it's supposed to be like really cold it's in like just before the sun comes up that's when it gets the coldest i don't know why but it's just before the sun rises it gets a really cold you know that's going to be the coldest temperature during the night just before the sun comes up but so we'll see Brrr, it's cold anyway so that's going to be it for today so um if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions drop down in the comments section below check me out on instagram and twitter at organic Damon. please check out all of my other videos please hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and a big thank you to everybody that has hit that subscribe button i appreciate each and every one of you and um yeah so um i guess that's everything for today and thanks everybody so much for watching and i hope you enjoy the video and i will catch you later